All right, blessings. Blessings to all of you out there in Facebook land uh, slash YouTube land. God bless you. Um, we have a topic today. This has been a, a topic that has been floating around for years. And uh, one of the important things about this topic um, is that we ought to explore it and, and uh, as God leads, because God wants us to understand why we do or don't do what we do. Uh, and so in that, there is a freedom, a liberty, a, a strength um, when we know how to apply faith uh, by the grace of God. And so um, one of the first things I want to talk about, because this is, is a topic that uh, so many have debated about, have, have talked about. Um, and so I, I want to talk about if Christian rap is spiritually healthy. I, I want to really diagnose this and talk about this. And, 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 and ultimately, uh, by the grace of God, see whether there is any validity, there is any uh, anything that can prove or uh, solidify the usage of this form of poetry uh, to ultimately glorify God. And so uh, we're going to dive into this. And so as I, I put in the title, questions are welcome because we we want to uh, exhaust this by the grace of God. Uh, I, I am definitely going to be staying up so I could really get through this video. So I, I guess the first place I want to start is my own life in reference to salvation, in reference to God saving me. And, and, and one of the first things God uh, gave me a heavy conviction about. Um, after this supernatural transformation um, of my soul, of my mind, uh, this, you know, the word of God tells us that except a man or woman be born again, he or she cannot see the kingdom of God. And except a man or woman be, be born of the water and of the spirit, he or she cannot enter into the kingdom of the living God. And so, as God uh, awakened me spiritually and and started to change perspectives in my mind supernaturally, one of the things that God did was he pointed out the very fact that rap was sin. He pointed out the, the very uh, things that I was doing, what I was listening to. The fact that 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 form, that structure, that all of that was something that was not pleasing in his sight. And so he didn't want me to remix it. He didn't want me to change it. He didn't want me to do anything but get rid of it. And so I felt that heaviness. I felt that level of conviction. I felt that level um, of of urgency to separate myself from that form of commu uh, from, from from that form of communication and so by the grace of god i did and along with many other things separating myself from those things because they were ultimately not pleasing to god and they were they they had the ability to hinder this new direction that god was leading me in and so uh so let's um talk about some things. One of the things that I want to talk about is uh, actually there's a, a, a parable. There's a parable that God um, gave me uh, maybe about three, four years ago. And this parable was something that helped me to understand what was happening, you know, within these different genres, within the, the uh, not just the genres, but it, from a fundamental level. From a fundamental level of of what we should know about uh, worship, or what we should know about ourselves and how we ought to conduct ourselves when it comes to dealing with a holy God. And so this parable ultimately was um, I'm going to start off it, uh, with 
this young man, a, a young man who ultimately ha has a girlfriend, right? And he has his girlfriend and um, he wants to buy an awesome gift, a great gift for the girlfriend. And he ultimately gives the girlfriend uh, some perfume and, and it uh, smells good or whatnot. And, and so the girlfriend enjoys it. But uh, through a series of events, the, the girlfriend actually dies in a plane crash right and then you know he mourns grieves and over a certain period of time he begins to um uh, seek god and he becomes a christian and he becomes transformed and he has a new perspective on life and he be he begins to really uh allow god to lead his life and transform his life and so he uh, by the grace of god meets a woman and he uh, ultimately proposes to her and they get married and um, eventually uh, a anniversary comes up and he wants to buy her a gift and so he goes out and he buys her perfume and so uh, ultimately what happens is uh, he gives it to his wife at this stage and uh, then what happens is his wife is uh, not appreciative of it. His wife is uh, actually detests this uh, specific gift. And, and the reason why is because she ultimately knew that that was the same type of perfume that he got the woman in his old relationship, the girlfriend that died. And so he uh, gave her the same type of gift that, that w without thought without too much uh, insight uh, and and this was her reaction and so we we would think um, she should be just grateful she should just be thankful she should just be appreciative but there's something important that we have to realize this parable uh, the old girlfriend this is um, a description of Satan of the devil and the the boyfriend turned into a husband is a symbol of what we consider mankind and the girl and the, the wife is a symbol of what we consider God um, of, of what we know to be God and so and so the, the point of this is that when we give God um, things or when, when we sacrifice, uh, when we give God our sacrifice of praise, of, of, of dance, of, of whatever it is, we ought to do it from a place to where it doesn't uh, mimic or it doesn't reflect um, the oldness of the flesh. It, it doesn't reflect the things of the past. It's something new. The Bible says, um, in Psalms for us to sing unto the Lord a new song. And so for uh, the wife to respond that way, it's right because God would respond that way because we we should know what pleases him. He puts us in a relationship with him and gives us insight, knowledge, promptings, um, unctions so, uh, so that we can know how to operate around him, how to please him how to give him our heart and to to do it in such a way that we don't violate the spiritual laws that are in operation um, all around us right so 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 yes so we, we we want to be aware so that we don't uh, do things that that are in opposition to his nature, his will, and how he uh, would delight that uh, the things around us function, right? And so one of the things about Christian rap, one of the things about holy hip hop that I want to discuss is uh, one of the focal points of it. One of the focal points of rap or, or, or hip hop is the melody behind it, the, the rhythm behind it, the, the beats, the beats behind it. And so the, the reason why I want to talk about the beats is because 
uh, these are elements of what uh, helps to extend or help communicate the ultimate uh, lyrical message of the artist. And so one of the things one of the things uh, thing about uh, beats or so what is a beat? What is this concept? What, what is this 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 word here? Um, well, one of the things that uh, I will say one of the things is there, there can be a couple of different definitions, but one of the definitions of a beat, um, you know, what uh, the these artists or these conductors would, would put together uh, is this rhythmic pattern of collective sounds that ultimately blend together in such a way to uh, describe this beat, to describe the, the, the direction of this rhythmic uh, melody or, or this, um, th this way of communication, this musical way of communication. And so th this rhythmic beat uh, that ultimately uh, these artists use are are symbols of deeper things. There, there are deeper things. There are deeper levels of communication within the beat itself. So you have the lyrics ultimately, which is an aspect of communication, but you also have the beat itself which has a language within it and so the person who's creating the beats the person who's forging who's uh, ultimately making the beat according to a spiritual structure if you will right that person is doing it ultimately uh, from a pre-existing pattern and so we're going to talk about that. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the fact that um, in the in man is the soul, of course. And so in the soul, there are at least three to four parts. Uh, I would say at least fundamentally three, which is the mind, the will and the emotions. The Bible talks about that in the book of James um, chapter three. Uh, and the book of James tells us that the mind, will and emotions is what ultimately makes up what we perceive the soul. And so this soul is ultimately the personality of the individual. And so when we're talking about beats, we're talking about the body, the, the soul of an individual that uh, is that that has levels of of inspiration that has levels of 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 creativity that has levels or, or ideas perspectives that come from a source and so and that source ultimately is the spirit of the world the spirit of the world is the source for either um a beat that leads onto um, onto destruction, or or a, a the type of beat that encourages and leads onto spiritual growth, and so we have this battle, and so we do have uh, certain types of music that um, don't necessarily subscribe to either side; they're more so just neutral. But we do have beats that activate certain elements of your soul that prompt your mind, that prompt your will, that prompt your emotions to go in a specific direction. And so we want to talk about this in a very deep fashion only to help identify the the way that these things are either for God or against God. And so in the soul, we have these these inspire this inspiration that comes from a, a foreign place. And so uh, so when we're talking about the 
rhythmic patterns, we're talking about the fact that people have this internal knowledge to where they craft beats, melodies, sounds, all sorts of things to uh, make them after the structure of what the ultimate genre is all about or the ultimate because it's beyond the, the genre it's it's beyond that because music is spiritual so it's not just a natural thing and so what we're communicating is something far beyond the the flesh the, far beyond the 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 outer elements of our body we're talking about the flesh in reference to the internal soul the the parts of us that has to be ultimately regenerated by the spirit of god and so the spirit of god comes to regenerate us internally so we don't act on the mind the will and emotions that was attached to the spirit of the world. The spirit of the world came to ultimately craft us after its own likeness so that it can move us to create things after its image. But Jesus comes to renew us in such a way, the Bible talks about um, in Ephesians, I believe it talks about being renewed in the spirit of your mind. And so there is a internal regeneration that God wants to do in us before we are even in position to minister to people because there must be a sobriety that exists in the person so that we can really tap in to the spiritual places that God wants to take us to really craft the sound of heaven the sound of transformation the sound of deliverance the sound of love the sound of faith Th these there are elements there are places that god wants us to 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 be uh, active in so that we can really do spiritual damage to the kingdom of darkness and so we so when it comes to beats when it comes to beats one of the things that you may have found yourself battling with i i know i have um coming out of the world coming out of the hip-hop culture coming out of the rap culture one of the things that happens is when you attempt to divorce that level of communication but yet you you're in a car and then in another car pulls up next to you at a traffic stop at a light and it's blaring its music whether it be christian rap or whether it be regular rap or whatever uh, whatever it is there is a pull at your soul that happens because there are elements of your soul that that is familiar with what you're hearing and you don't even have to hear that specific beat you don't even have to hear that specific melody or or that specific rhythmic pattern all you have to do is hear the spirit of what that is communicating there is a spirit a spiritual communication that is happening that is tugging at the soul and trying to get the soul to be reintroduced and to be satisfied um, with that selection that that level of communication and so it, with the spirit man there is a battle there is a fight and so there needs to be that fight so that the the individual can ultimately not uh, walk in ways that reflect that they are in agreement with that form of communication which leads to that the agreement with the spirit of the world the spirit of the world comes to pull on the sons of god to get them to go back or to touch 
the unclean things that they have professed that they're not of anymore. And so God uh, wants the desire internally. There is a desire internally that God wants to purify and make holy and make pure and make renew, renewed. And so the the so th that fight, that internal battle has to happen. We can't lay it down. We can't say, well, no, that's not bad. So I'm not going to fight against it. I'm not I'm going to enjoy that level of communication which ultimately can be very harmful and and we wonder why we we battle in other areas because we are laying down our guard in specific areas and so the beats that's one element that's one element one way that we can see that the enemy is actually using christian rap uh, we we can see that the enemy is actually using uh, Christian hip hop or holy hip hop. It's actually it's it's a lie from the enemy. And so the important thing about understanding, understanding what we ought to do is the the importance of recognizing what it is, the spirit of discernment, the, the, the gift of discernment, the ability to rightfully uh, discern and divide light from darkness, good from bad, um, holy from the profane. These are critical aspects of our development in Christ Jesus. One of the things it tells us in um, first Peter chapter one, verse 14 it tells us, um, as obedient children, not fashioning ourselves according to our former lusts in our ignorance, but as he who has called us is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. And so what is that telling us? What is that describing to us? How do we apply that to beats? How do we apply that to how we uh, create lyrics? How do we apply that to how we uh, worship God? How do we apply that? One of the th one of the ways we apply that um, is the understanding that we must be aware of what we were ignorant to that was a lust. Uh, see, lusts are the the part of man that desires things that are contrary to the will of God uh, that we there is a lust in man that wants to consume it lust is like a bottomless pit that just consumes through desire and and, and acquiring things um, desire acquiring desire acquiring a desire acquiring and it never gets full. It's there to consume and to consume and to consume. And so this lust that is all about taking and not about giving, not about true love. It's all about supplying the 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 need it's supplying the demand that's all it's about supplying the demand it's not about understanding how how you can uh be beneficial and and ultimately um developed to the point or d a degree that you can be a benefit to the world around you and so when it comes to that scripture it's describing the it, the essence the, the, this one scripture, I believe, is one of the most potent scriptures that tells us that holy hip hop or Christian rap is wrong because of the fact that it describes a, a key component. It says, um, as obedient children, not fashioning ourselves. So what is that saying? Not recreating, not remolding, not remaking myself after the former things, the former lusts uh, that that I had, that I was made in the shape of in my ignorance to the truth, in my ignorance to what was right. And so God ultimately uh, comes in and invest truth, invest knowledge, invest his love, invest faith, invest strength and endurance so that we can 
uh, become individuals that can resist because before we could not resist but now we have this grace this power to resist the bible says in james chapter 4 it, it, it talks about how uh therefore submit yourselves to god it's talking about the need to submit to surrender and submit ourselves to god and it says then resist the devil and he will flee from you so there is specific things that have to happen so that the devil can flee and so in that God gives us this reassurance that we have the power and that we can submit to him um, contrary to whatever else is out there. And because of that, the grace to resist is there. We do that in the name of Jesus and the devil has to respect the decision made, the desire being changed and ultimately toward uh, the freedom of our souls and so so we cannot replicate that which was old so so ultimately crap the what I what I what I like to call the parent culture I like to say that rap is the parent culture hip-hop is the parent culture and uh, holy hip hop is the subculture, is the child culture, is what was born or reared after the uh, the the parent culture ultimately um, formed the genre or whatever that uh, holy hip hop obviously gleams from or takes from, and, and so the, the 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 parent culture is ultimately a a culture that has all of the the structure all of the, the the different things elements in it that now the child culture or the subculture is gleaming from and so we see a a heavy likeness of this rap culture uh this this holy hip-hop uh, christian rap culture and the ultimate culture and so so fin finishing up with the beats talk the 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 beats are in the same likeness they 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 give off the same thing so so the beats give off depending on the artist who creates the beats this rhythmic pattern depending on that there is the the internal uh elements that ultimately produce the aggression or the the levels of seduction and sensuality uh, there are characteristics that flow from the internal language of the beat there is a a message a language a a desire a a goal within the beat that the artist or the lyricist perceives and then ultimately communicates or creates lyrics from what he or she has um uh, uh, um was given or, or or what was translated and so that is something that is uh, the reason why we can see that th this transition between regular rap or regular hip-hop and um, this holy hip-hop is a unholy union it, they, they are one in the same they're one in the same uh, except for a, f a few modifications but modifications don't mean that something is new per se there, there's it, it takes more than just a few mod few modifications for something to be considered brand new so when we're talking about the fact that you have uh, the the rap culture and and its levels of of derogatory terms and it's it's uh, the the 
the levels of of uh, drug usage that it promotes the 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 sexual um, activity it promotes the the uh, all of the corruption that it promotes even even the fa fallen forms of thinking um, in reference to um, social justice some you know the the the, the mentalities that are not in line with the, the the direction of the spirit you know all of these things are of a, a reflection of the internal problems that need to be divorced because these are all the ideas and ways of thinking that will ultimately lead a, a person away from Christ all of these perspectives and thoughts and so many people who are christian rappers who are individuals that profess christ but yet speak and communicate in these ways there are many elements of the world that they have not been divorced from they they they're very heavily in many different things that ultimately prove that they are of the world there there are many th many different shows um, some of them may even watch uh, carnal shows like empire or, or 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 crazy things um like probably watch the the, the um uh, bt awards and and all sorts of um things that do not agree with the mind of God in the direction that Jesus is leading his church. And so there are many things that are, are hindering them from perceiving the levels of corruption that are in the genre. And so one of the things that the sons of God have to do is we have to pray, but we ultimately have to speak out and teach and, and, and say and proclaim and, and, and preach the good news, preach the, the truth and, and, and understand that there is going to be rebuttal. There's going to be all sorts of disagreement or whatnot. But the reality is if love is at the center of what you're saying then ultimately there is going to be the grace of god available to go the distance and to bring clarity where clarity is needed and so uh let's let's talk about okay so we we, we know that the beats are a manifestation of the spirit of the world uh, this is why the beats are very similar. This is why you hear the same heavy bass lines. You hear the, the rhythmic sounds and patterns coming together and they are very similar, if not identical to the world. It's, it's because the spirit of the world is crafting these sounds through individuals that either profess Christ or not but they're operating under the same spirit and it's it's creating the level this rhythmic pattern this beat which ultimately uh, a lyricist uh adds words to and then uh creates even more of 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 something that they perceive as holy and can be used for worship but it cannot because it has the structure and the spirit of the world. And so let's go on to the, the lyrical aspects of it, the, the, the lyrical aspects of holy hip hop. So we we've talked a good bit already. And we, we talked about some important truths that describe the the fact that these forms of communication, when we have this heavy uh, a culture based form of communication that is sewn into this genre and and it's 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 a genre that's being accepted more and more and more by people accepted more in the christian contemporary genre um accepted more in movies accepted more in um 
in many different arenas. But we know that just because something is popular does not mean that it's of God. It, that, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's something that God is approving or God is leading people to do. Uh, because ultimately, we can look at certain doctrines like for example, uh, what people believe heavily in, in this modern day, especially in the church, of course, which is the this secret rapture doctrine, this this uh, rapture before the great tribulation comes, this uh, um, vanishing in thin air um, and meeting God in the air. But the reality is we can clearly, even though a, a good number, a good number of the church believes that, we can clearly see in Matthew 24 that it tells us that after the, the tribulation of those days, then will the sign of the Son of Man come in the sky. So we know that Jesus will return after th th this great tribulation. And how do we know it's the great tribulation? Because in a few verses before, right, it tells us that in those specific days that there will be no uh, tribulation or no uh, literal chaos more severe than the chaos of that day. So we know that that would be considered the great tribulation, the tribulation of tribulations. And so people believe that they will be caught up and not have to deal with that tribulation. But the reality is Jesus is telling us that uh, we don't have to create this doctrine, this false doctrine of comfort we need to embrace the reality of the scripture and prepare as God does the delights that we prepare and be developed and, and, and grow in who we ought to be so that we can uh, endure to the end. There is no need for us to be afraid of the great tribulation if we have Jesus on our side, just like there's no need for us to be afraid of the devil if we have Jesus behind us. If God be for us, who can be against us? And so God is attempting to strengthen people to understand that just because something is popular does not mean that it's that it is from God. And so we see, I can pull out many doctrines, many different things that will prove and tell us that it, it, it's all about his truth, his righteousness. It's all about his love. It's all about faith. And these um, critical elements of our faith are important for us to know and to walk in continually so that we are not deceived as the Bible talks about the 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 great falling away will happen you know and so these elements you know can be elements of the great falling away deceiving people not people maybe going cold turkey and completely leaving Christianity but people literally um, abandoning true Christianity for all forms of false Christianity, uh, 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 Christian goth, uh, uh, cr uh, Christian rap, uh, um, uh, Christian yoga, Christian uh, 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 pole dancing, um, uh, Christian uh, metal, you know, all of these alternate forms of worship, all of these alternate forms of giving God glory that have the spirit of the world entangled in it. it, it it's not something new. It's something old that is masquerading as new. It's something that is familiar to the fallen soul of man. And it's try and, and people are trying to make it something that is redeemed, that is renewed, that is that is uh, full of 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 the the grace of God to accomplish when it's actually the opposite. It's it's something that God does not delight in. And we could see that according to his scripture, according to his word. Um, 
And so we don't want to participate in this level of corruption. So let's talk about lyricism. Let's talk about how we uh, we are. We, we talked about beats. And so we, when we talk about lyrics, we're ta we have to consider that when we try to string words together, when we try to, as they say, as they like to say, um, he has bars, she has bars. When, when they try to string lyrics together, words together to create these lyrics, we're, we're talking about most of the time uh, praising oneself praising glorifying oneself and we can see the manifestation of the glory of one glorying of oneself when we have people flocking to the individual there are so many people who have fanboys fangirls uh people who who borderline worship them if not just worship them I made a, a video years ago, I, 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 don't know how, I don't know how many years ago, it was a long time ago, uh, where I was talking about, um, the name of the video is um, uh, um, uh, Holy, um, Holy Hip Hop Unmasked, I believe, yeah, Holy Hip Hop Unmasked, and I was talking about the, the very things that are um, copied uh, and and uh, done and how the lyrics are literally um, inspired from the idolaters or the idols of uh, the, the rappers the rapper idols themselves and so there's the need for us to understand that idolatry is is one of the major sins that you will find present in this holy hip hop genre, in this Christian rap world, you will see idolatry all over the place. Um, and so, one of the individuals, uh, one of the rappers in that video, his name was Pyrex, and he had a bunch of individuals around him with his shirt or, or his, the, his name on their shirts Pyrex, Pyrex, Pyrex. And so as he was rapping, all of all of them are quiet and, and obviously sporting the shirt, uh, not shirts that say Jesus saves, not shirts that say um, love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, your strength, not shirts that say Jesus is the only way, not shirts that say, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, we are saved by grace through faith, not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works that God has ordained that we walk in them. Like, we don't have the pointing to Jesus in the holy hip hop industry. We have certain elements of using Jesus, using repent, using faith, using certain words in their lyrics, but at the same time, they are glorying in themselves using specific lyrics that that come together to show their superiority or their level of understanding, their level of whatever it is. And so we have to repent of that and, and turn from those areas in our hearts that want to exalt ourselves rather than allowing God to exalt us in, in due time through us being faithful in what he desires that we do and not trying to take the pattern of the rappers of the world and try to uh, uh, create or draw some fan base just so we can ultimately be noticed by bigger people in the industry and ultimately become uh, the idols ourselves in reference to uh, rap uh, uh, or, or Christian rap individuals uh, with influence. And so we have a uh, these lyrics, these lyrics are lyrics that that the majority of the time do not point to Jesus. They mention Jesus. 
They talk about Jesus. They uh, and, and so it's something that Jesus is always talking about. You know, uh, Jesus is constantly talking about um, knowing them by their fruits. He's, he's talking about discerning and recognizing things. You know, knowing things, knowing people, knowing the Bible says that the spirit man, spiritual man judges all things. And so there is need for sound judgment in any civilization. And there needs to be a level of accountability that people have to submit to so that a true account of what is being accomplished can be ultimately realized and so the so this culture is a culture that wants to masquerade as good but yet at the core is not good even on the surface we can see it's not good and so it's it's important that we not be fooled and people may say well what about across the world what about all across the world people have different styles of worship people have different ways of seeking god people speak to uh, god in different languages people use whatever they have as instruments and and so they they seek god in their own way with with their own styles what's wrong with the holy hip-hop style what's wrong with with us using that the reality is we can't use a cultural style that is so heavily soulish that it resembles the very world through their application of soulish behavior. The soul, as I was saying in the beginning, the mind, the will and emotions the soul wants to communicate all manner of things through emotions, through uh, many different things. And so the emotions, the mind, the will, it's not bad, but we can we can infuse it with all manner of bad things that are from the fallen world. And so God wants to open us up, change our desires, transform form these things that were corrupted and redeem them for his usage for spiritual usage i talked about the sound of heaven earlier and so but, but before i talk about the sound of heaven let's talk let, let's continue to talk about uh, worldwide worship there's different styles everywhere. People use all sorts of instruments. And that is fine. That is fine. Worship with whatever you have is fine. Uh, singing, dancing, um, poetry, um, you know, uh, uh, declarations to God. All of these things are fine. And I do want to say that rap is not uh, poetry that is... Um, that is pure rap is a perverted is a corrupt form of poetry it's not what we would deem as 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 a sober type poetry that we could use for the glory of god because poetry is fine poetry is fine poetry is something that we can use to ultimately you know you put words together or whatnot you 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 are led by the spirit and you create something that god that that glorifies god that points towards jesus that points towards abba you know and that is pleasing before god but when we're talking about rap, we're talking about a way of communication that has infused all forms of soulish behaviors, all forms of the flailing of the hands, the, 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 the wearing of certain types of attire, certain measures of clothes that represent that you are something or someone like uh, the, the, or 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 specifically to that genre you know um that th there are so many different types of, of of ways of speaking aggressively speaking in all manner of 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 
as uh, all men of pride. All it's, there are so many soulish elements of rapping that prove that it is not, and it can't be used to give a holy God a holy measure of praise. Rap is it's it's entangled. It's entangled in the fallen elements of the soul. And when a person raps, they communicate. And you may say, what, what if they just do it soft? What if they just, um, you know, just, you know, just um, not act like what if they don't exercise all of the, the emotional elements or the the things the flailing fla the flailing of the hands and the and the 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 proudful look you know the bible says that god hates a, a prideful look um what if they don't do all those things can we then use rap the thing is that's not rap rap is the inclusion of all of those things Popular rap is not using words stringed together and not showing emotion and trying to seem humble. That's not rap. What rap is and popular rap, what we see out here in the world that gains traction and momentum is the type of rap that is full of fallen elements of the world, full of the things that are in the soul that communicate pride, rebellion, it communicates depression, it communicates uh, um, bitterness, uh, envy, jealousy, uh, uh, it communicates all of these things, it communicates all of these uh, parts of our soul that should be abandoned, that should not be used for the glory of God. It taps into certain parts of our soul that we're trying to abandon, that we're trying to forsake, that we're trying to allow God to deliver us. And so we're, we're, we're entertaining certain elements of our soul uh, through rap. Through this fallen form of poetry, you know, uh, and so it's not just, you know, rap. It's, you know, dance can be perverted. You know, uh, people can try to dance in a way that it's not holy. Therefore, God not accepting it, you know, just so. So same thing with poetry. You can try to uh, use poetry in a certain way that is not holy, not pleasing to God. And therefore, God not accept it. You know, we can, you know, even marriage, marriage, marriage can be done in such a way where God doesn't accept it. You know, it's not considered marriage, you know, polygamy, not considered marriage, uh, marrying the same sex, not considered marriage. Uh, if you, you know, there's so many different things we can mention, but ultimately, Rap cannot be used because it's a fallen form of poetry. It's not a healthy form of poetry. And so singing, we can do that. That's fine. As long as we don't include the fallen elements of the mind, the will and emotions, we can use dance. As long as we don't include the fallen elements of the mind, the will and emotions. The, 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 uh, it, it, as long as we don't include fallen elements of our personality in our actions, as long as we keep it clean, as long as we keep it uh, to a, a, a place where God considers it something pure. The Bible says the pure in heart shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. You know, we want to be pure. We don't want to uh, use condemned things and then try to polish them up and call them holy no that's not what god desires and so so yes all around the world there are so so many forms of worship to god and it's all good as long as the carnal corrupt 
elements of the soul, the fallen ways of communication, the fallen perspectives of what we're doing are not invading that worship. When the, 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 the lines begin to be blurred, when certain levels of corruption begin to come in because of the lack of discernment, because the, the elders have have or the watchmen have not been watching when specific things happen because we are not on our jobs and we're not discerning the holy from the profane we can have these infiltrations come in and ultimately hinder the development of true christians and christianity and so god is wanting us to to refrain from the things that ultimately he is not pleased with. The Bible tells us that um, in, Ro in Romans chapter 12, you know, uh, be not conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, the renewing of your mind, the renewing of your soul, you know, so that uh, it says uh, renewing of your mind so that you can um, so, so that you can ultimately um, know what is that good and that perfect will of God. You know, God wants you to understand his will and execute behavior, not like the world. That's going to prove that you are walking in the will of God, that you are walking in the light of God, that you are walking in the ways of God. So we we want to make sure, you know, that we're not afraid to test the spirits because sometimes people can walk on eggshells in reference to this topic. They can. It can well, uh, I don't know whether it's sin or not. I just, you know, kind of stay in my lane. I, you know, I don't want to judge. I don't want to say anything wrong. I, I, I don't want to, you know, you know, it's, you know, I, I think it's none of my business. You know, it's no, it's it is our business. We want to walk in spirit and in truth. We don't want to act like that. We love God. But yet the pink elephant is in the room and we're ignoring it. And like, oh, no, it's, it's not there. It's, you know, yeah. oh, yeah, that, that, that thing. Oh, yeah. No, no, I, I'm not. I'm just going to ignore it. No, no. God likes judgment, not hypocritical judgment, not um, uh, uh, hate, hateful type judgment, not uh, judgment that is self-righteous not those types of judgment judgment that's full of love judgment that 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 wants to labor for the development of judgment that 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 wants to sacrifice for you know like not that selfish judgment not that uh the the pointing type judgment we want healthy judgment hold hands, strengthen each other, lift each other up type judgment that ultimately every nation that prospers walks in, you know? And so, so all of these things are important. We, we have to know that it's, it's not necessarily the style. It's the infusion of all sorts of suggestive behavior through the inspiration of the soul, the, 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 the infusing of certain corrupt things in the soul which suggest certain behaviors. And those behaviors are ultimately not of God. And so let's talk about the, the, the sound of heaven. Let's talk about how we seek God and God infuses in us. He transforms our 
soul, our mind, will, and emotions, he transforms it. He renews it. He begins to add things to our personality, transform our personality. And then he then infuses new sounds, new things. He infuses the, the type of sounds that excite him. You know, the new song, you know, he, he gives us insight in what he wants to hear and what things mimic the very sounds in heaven. And so the reality when it comes to seeking God. And so this is, this is why it's so important for a minister. If you're, if you're going to be a minister for a minister of music, you, you can't just come out of the world rapping and then come into Christianity, come into the church and want to rap for Jesus. We can already see in that example that a person is not regenerated because there is a level of time out. There's a level of you being consecrated in the presence. There's a level of deep transformation. There's a level of transformation of the soul that has to happen long before you even think about ministering to uh, ministering to God uh, through forms of of uh, of 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 ways of uh, of uh, you know ministerial ministerial type ways you know before you begin to do that on an official level there is deep cleansing that needs to happen there's a there's deep spring cleaning there's i mean when when you think about the book of esther and you think about how long the the women had to go through this level of cleansing and sanctification and 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 these uh this the different measure of things that they had to go through in preparation to be a possible wife to the king in this case king ahasuerus you know uh basically um sent out people his men in order to gather up um individuals or women um possible um, Danzel's out in in this it, throughout his kingdom that could potentially ultimately be his wife, and you know, and, and for them they had to go through this 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 process, this transformation process, and that transformation process was was necessary for them to have uh, for them to be in position to ultimately. Uh, be before the king in that perfect fashion and so likewise it's the same for ministers ministers can't come out come just come out of the world and want to minister to sanctified people want to minister to people things that they have not proven in themselves you know there is a level of proving you know um, that's what Romans 12 says, you know, be, uh, uh, be not conformed to the world, but, uh, uh, be, but prove, uh, that which, um, is, is, is that prove, um, the, the holiness, the will of God, the prove the, the, the truth that is in you. All of those things need to be proven. And so God is doing that because God wants, God understands process. Uh, God understands that that transformation. And so but we don't we don't we want to be in a rush to be used of God. We want to be rushed to have a name among men. But yet God doesn't know us, you know. And so the, the, the reality is, you know, the sound of heaven is something serious uh, being in the presence of God. And so this this is what it takes. It takes you being sanctified it takes you uh, learning how to worship god it takes you seeking the lord consistently it takes you doing things uh, so that an impartation and outpour can come upon you so you can have what it takes to minister to people 
with the renewed part of you, not the old part of you. The renewed part of you is what needs to be before people ministering to them musically. And so this is the problem in this modern day. This is the problem with the many genres that we hear. Uh, this is the, the, the problem with the many individuals uh, that want to minister for the Lord. Uh, but yet the level of sanctification and consecration is not there, you know, and we don't think we need to go that that far. We don't think it takes all that, you know, but the reality is deliverance, transformation, things aren't happening to the degree that they should because the people aren't sanctified as they ought to be. And so th there is that level of transformation that God is desiring. The sound of heaven, God wants that to be a reality um, as you worship. The, the, you know, God, it's not a strange thing for people to hear angels. It's not a strange thing. It's not, that's not, that I've heard angels. That's not something that we should think, oh, that's far-fetched, that's foreign, uh, that doesn't happen in this modern day. What? There is time is not a thing to God. God can enter and 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 leave our realm. Like he he can do things like sp supernaturally is is natural to God. The supernatural to us is natural to God. And so we have to divorce this form of communication rap christian hip-hop all of this divorce that that's the that's the world that's fallen that's that's um damned that's not good it's damned that's that's of the fallen elements of the soul and so God is trying to to help us to know him to such a degree that we are uh, we, we have quicker access to communicate lyrically, communicate words, not in the, the, the Christian rap form, but in uh, create words to 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 have words released to us in such a way that we can then communicate them and see the, the the power behind them we can see the deliverance that manifests from them we can see the things that come from them because we are tapping in by another spirit we're tapping in by the spirit of god we're, we're not tapping in by the spirit of the world we're not we, we, we don't the world they do all sorts of corrupt rituals and and then uh, receive uh, carnal words from Satan we don't we receive words from the creator of the concept of words we, we we receive truths we receive prophecy we receive all that we need from the God of creation and he injects he supernaturally invests what is necessary for the music minister to minister as he or she ought to and so these key things are important so we know how to not resurrect the fallen elements of the soul and spend time with god and tap in to the spirit so that god can release to us deliverance so he can release to us what is necessary so that we can minister to the people minister to people that ultimately want to use what god gave you to minister back to god in unison and so that is important and we have to understand that god is challenging us challenging us to to let that music go to let that form of communication go he's challenging us to go higher in him and to know him to such a degree that he trusts us with precious forms of worship 
that will ultimately please him as he receives it back from the people he's ministered it to. And so I think that's it for tonight. I think that's it for tonight. Hopefully I covered some specific things that will ultimately help us to know the importance of removing ourselves from things that cannot be redeemed from the corrupt manners of expression that cannot be redeemed and to join ourselves with the characteristics and the the specific behaviors that are stemming from the people that are redeemed we are redeemed and because of that goodness flows from us regenerated regenerated sounds and melodies and rhythms flow from us things that don't have the image and structure of the fallen but it has a new structure a new way uh, it has a, a, a new uh, 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 way about it, it has a, a new uh, feeling about it. it 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 empowers us and strengthens our soul towards the image of Christ the mind of Christ and that's what we're talking about we're not talking about the oldness of yesterday we're talking about the newness of where God wants to take us and so that is what we want to um, grab hold of and retain as we are being uh, as we are moving towards that prize towards that high calling in Christ Jesus and so to God be the glory uh, as I always say feet follows focus so focus on the Lord Jesus Christ and your feet my feet our feet will follow in Jesus mighty name love you all <laughs>